Hello guys, this is Fireworks and we're going to be going through how to turn all of your Pokemon battles in the Gen 5 Pokemon games into all triple battles. So this tutorial will be dealt with in a Windows operating system. If you're on a Mac or Linux machine, this may not apply to you. Um, maybe down the line will support that, but I don't have those machines to compile or test on. so kind of out of my abilities at the moment um, for doing this there is a number of different tools that we'll need to use to be able to pull out all the files and modify them and downloads for all those will be in the description below um, except for the Pokemon game itself that you'll need to find on your own means um, but everything else will be in the description uh, what you will need is of course the game itself. Uh, this will work for black, white, white two, and black two. Um, there is slight differences between version one and version two, um, but we will talk about those as we progress through the tutorial. Uh, you will also be needing Pokey Rando ZX. Um, this is kind of the universal randomizer for a lot of these Pokemon games, and it just even if you're not randomizing your Pokemon. There's a couple options within here that we will need to be able to set all the proper flags and whatnot. Um, next, we will need Nitro Explorer 2 to extract out files from the ROM. And then we will need Kiwi DS to be able to uh, decompress those extracted files so we can work with them. And then once we have those decompressed files, we will then need a Triple Battle Converter to be able to turn those into triple battles. Uh, there is the optional tools for the black and white tools. This has a trainer editor within it that you can use to verify that everything's a triple battle. Um, you do not need that. It is completely optional. Um, but if you would like to use this tool and figure out how to, to double check, there will be a link to the tutorial to be able to use that tool. Um, so let's get started. Um, so we're going to start with Pokey Rando ZX. We need to randomize the game first, um, or modify it at least first. And we're going to need to launch your Windows.bat to launch the the randomizer tool, which will bring up this window. Uh, if you do not get this window, um, one of the reasons for that may be that you don't have Java installed on your computer. Um, link to that will also be in the description if you need to install that. In, um, before this program will be able to run. So once this opens up, we need to open our game. So we'll go to desktop and Pokemon White. And there's maybe like three controls that we need to modify in here in order uh, for this to work properly. The main one is gonna be under Faux Pokemon. And the trainer Pokemon here, sadly we will have to randomize this just to turn on all the options we need. So I'm just gonna do a normal randomize and I need to turn on double battle mode to ensure all the trainers get put into multi-battle AI. Um, and then we need to make sure they have enough Pokemon on their teams to be able to trigger a triple battle. So for boss trainers, important trainers, and regular trainers, I'm gonna turn on the checkbox for each of those and set their additional Pokemon to two. So that way every single trainer will get two Pokemon added to their team so they'll at least have three. Um, and then lastly, while this you may not need to do, I would recommend it just to keep the game balanced, um, is by turning on the percentage level modifier for the foe and wild Pokemon and setting that to maybe around 20% or so. Um, by adding more Pokemon to the trainers, you're gonna be getting more experience from playing the game and you'll get over level a lot more quickly. So turning these on will at least try to balance that out. So then it's still a little bit of a challenge. So faux Pokemon turn level percentage to 20 and then on wild Pokemon as well, you need to make sure we turn percentage level modifier and set that to 20. Um, and that will be, well, there's also another one inside of the starters static and trades. There is percentage level modifier on static Pokemon that we will also set to 20%. So 
three fields to be able to make all the Pokemon kind of scale with the rest of your team. Um, but those ones are optional if you want to try to keep a balance. And you might need to tweak those numbers a little bit. Um, just I've been going 20%. Um, so once we have all that and the rest of your randomization is set, we can then do randomize save to save our new game. So I'm going to call this randomized white. You can name it whatever you want, put it where you need. I'm just saving it to my desktop and it will save, do the randomization. I don't need the log file or the random seed. Close those and now I can close the randomizer and we are done using that. So now I can move um, our original game just to the side because we have our randomized one and this is our kind of working copy that we are going to be addressing and changing. So now we're going to open up Nitro Explorer 2 and we're going to open up this and we'll get this small window here. Uh, we're going to then load the ROM. So we're going to load our randomized game that we just created and we'll be able to see the files in here. This is where the differences between one and two tend to start. Um, for black one and white one, uh, we need to get the trainer data, which is located at A092. If you are working with black two and white two, that file is located at A091. Just slightly different, but just make sure you grab the right one. So since I'm working with white one, I'm going to be grabbing A092. I'm going to hit extract. I'm going to put this on my desktop and there's a specific name I need to give this. It's going to be trdata.narc. Um, name of this is important. So have it named that and hit save. And we should see file two extracted successfully. And that is now on my desktop. So I'm going to set that right there. And I'm going to move this guy to the side. Well, we will, we will need it later, but I can close that window. And now we're going to open Kiwi DS in here. I'm going to open up NDS editor. And here I'm going to take that TR data file that we just made and drag it into here. And we'll now see we have a Nintendo archive file. I'm going to double click on this and it should bring up the archive browser. I'm just going to hit the select all button and then hit the extract selected. We'll see it do a bunch and then we'll see this little window pop up. This is where another difference happens between the two with black two and white two. You will have 814 files extracted on um, black one and white one will have 616 files extracted. So just a number to keep in mind um, just to make sure you're extracting the same amount of files. So since I'm working on white one, we see 616 files extracted. That is correct. So I'm going to close this, close the archive browser, and then I'm going to move Kiwi DS to the side for we will need that later. Uh, inside the browser here, we will see that we have a TR data folder. Um, and that is kind of our working folder for all the extracted files. We can look inside and there's a whole bunch of stuff in there. Um, now we can open up the triple battle converter. So opening up this and we're going to do our tri triple battle converter two, and that will bring up this little window. We need to browse to where that folder that we just created, uh, is so we're going to hit browse and we're going to go to where that lives. So for me, that's on desktop, Kiwi DS, TR data, have it selected and select the folder. It should show the path to there and we see TR data. And then we need to select uh, which game we're going to just uh, so it knows how many files it needs to do. So since I'm working with white one, I'm going to have the top checkbox or a top radio button selected. If you're working with black two, white two, select the other one. And then I'm going to hit convert and we should see a window pretty much immediately pop up and it'll say 616 trainers have been processed. Um, if you're working with black two, white two, that will say 814. Um, then we just hit okay and we can close this and we are, it's all triple battles. Now we just need to now take that 
those modified files and put it back into the ROM. So in Kiwi DS, we can bring this back over. We're going to go to Tools and do Make NARC File. I'm going to click on that and we'll get another window. We need to browse to where that uh, TR data folder is. So that's going to be under the desktop Kiwi DS TR data. Let me hit OK. And then output folder that's just going into Kiwi DS. That's fine. We'll hit OK. And we'll now see inside of that folder, we now have another trdata.narc file. We then need to take this and put it into Nitro Explorer 2. So we can close Kiwi. We're done with that. And then in Nitro, we need to have two selected, the one that we extracted, and do reinsert. We're going to go to that new file that we have. So trdata.narc. Select that and hit open. And then we will now see on the status here, file to replace successfully. So with that in mind, we have now modified our ROM and that is it. It is done. We now have all triple battles in there. Um, I will load up the game, get to a point where I can do uh, triple battles and I will show that working. There is a couple battles that are set to not be triple battles. Um, that is the first um, battle against your rival. Uh, it, well, it depends on what game it is. If it's the um, black one, white one, it's the first battle against your rivals and N. If it's black two, white two, it's the first battle against the rival. And some of the multi battles uh, with the previous trainer couldn't be changed either. Um, but yeah. It's at least until you can get three Pokemon for it to work properly. But um, yeah, we will load this up and go from there. Okay, so I got up to the point where we have our first triple battle trainer. Um, we, again, as I said, some of the battles aren't set the triple battle just for consistency. Um, but I wanted to show this because uh, this is a kind of important thing to know. Um, if I, I'm not on the game, I... <sighs> still learning keyboard controls right now i only have two pokemon right um if i go i this trainer doesn't trigger i could talk to him he's like i really love pokemon battles and it tries to start it but it doesn't how the game handles if you don't have enough pokemon it just fails to initiate the battle the trainer's still there just battle hasn't started so if i go over here and withdraw uh, another Lillipup. So now I have three Pokemon on my team. And go back on over here. Again, got to go through the grass because, you know, this is just wonderful. Well, now see the battle now triggers properly and we get in and it's now a triple battle. Um, I am vastly uh, unprepared for this battle, but as you can see, it worked. Triple battles happen. So if you're doing like a Nuzlocke, you just kind of want to make sure you always have three Pokemon on your team just so the battles trigger. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to put comments on the video here and I will hopefully get to them. If you end up finding bugs, um, like you're playing through the game and a battle isn't loading properly, um, you can put an issue onto the GitHub repo and um, I'll look into it. But that is pretty much it. Uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully it makes sense. And good luck. This is a hard. <laughs>